Hi friends, I'm here with a yoga offering. As always, please go at your own pace, rest whenever you need to, and feel free to skip things or change things if they're not working for you today. Let's begin standing. So you can separate your feet about hip width apart, a little bend in your knees, and just close your eyes or take a soft gaze to begin with. Taking a few moments to turn inward. Begin to slow down your breath. And feel where you are. And you can keep a slow, steady rhythm with your breath and Come back to it whenever you notice your mind has wandered elsewhere. Feel free to open and close your eyes as it's useful for you throughout your practice. So let's take the right foot and just circle around on the ball of the foot, circling the ankle a few times one way, and then a few times the other way. Let's circle the left leg, left ankle, a couple times to the outside, a couple times to the inside. And then take your right arm and circle it back. Big circles. Exploring the range of motion for the shoulder. Circle forward. And then left arm back. Reaching as far back as you can. And then forward. And then take both arms up and try circling one arm forward and the other arm backward. This is more for the brain than the body. If you get lost, you can come back to the top again and try one arm forward, the other arm back. If you have it slow, you might try a couple quickly. And then release that and take a swing with the arms, letting them swing side to side, hitting the body. Slow that down. We'll take hands in light fists and just pat all the soft parts of your legs, the fronts, the backs, insides, outsides, hips gently on the belly, lower back, and then both arms, all the soft parts, just waking up through touch. Gently on your chest, shoulders, and then use your fingertips to your head and your face. <sighs> shake it out through your arms, shake your legs, shake your butt, <laughs> whole body. <sighs> and then gather everything up and let's step up to the front of the mat, coming into mountain pose. Feet can be together or apart. You might imagine gathering energy from the floor up through the inner legs, all the way up through the top of the head. Come into a nice steady rhythm again. Next inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, fold forward, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen, part way up. Step back, come into a high push-up position. Let's spend an extra breath or two here. Feeling the strength of your core supporting you, lifting up. And then shift forward to lower down, low push up. Come into your back bend, and this could be as low or high as feels good for you. A little baby cobra, could be sphinx, could be up dog. And then back to down dog when you are ready. Take your time getting into this first down dog of class. You might pedal out your feet a little bit. Bending one knee as you press the opposite heel towards the floor. Waking up the backs of the legs. And 
As you settle onto two feet evenly, you're welcome to have your heels up or down, your knees bent or straight. And then drop your knees, sink back to child's pose, releasing hips to the heels, forehead to the floor. <sighs> With arms out in front of you, walk your hands over to the left. And then pull back through your right hip, stretching right side a little more. Come through center and over to the other side. Pull back through your left hip, stretching left side a bit more. And then back to center. Let's lift up through table, come back through down dog. Bend your knees, look forward, and lightly hop or step your feet to the front of your mat, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold, let your head release fully. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, step or hop your feet back, lower down, up dog or cobra, and back to down dog. This time from down dog, take your right leg up, bend your knee to your chest, and start circling this bent right knee, making the biggest circle possible for your hip joint, feeling what's being stirred up as you do this. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. Circle your ankle a few times, big circles, both directions. Take your leg a little higher, and then a big step forward, high lunge. Feel free to adjust your footing when you're ready, arms high. Hips low. Each inhale, look for space and length. Each exhale, more grounding, more ease. Last breath. Tip forward, standing splits, hands to the floor or to a couple of blocks. We'll do this with hips square and with the upper body letting go like ragdoll. Mm. One more breath here. Big step back. Warrior one, drop the back heel. Inhale, arms up. Settle in, sink low. One more breath. Release. Make your way to down dog. You might take a vinyasa. You might just step back. Feel what you are doing. From down dog, left leg sweeps up. Bend your knee in and start circling this bent left knee. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. Circle your ankle a few times, big circles, both directions. 
Take your leg a little higher and then a big step forward. High lunge, inhale, arms up. Settle in. Last breath here. Tip forward. Standing splits. Square off your hips. Reach that back leg straighter, longer, higher. And let your upper body release. One more breath here. Step back. Warrior one, inhale, arms high, settle in. Last breath, release. Make your way back to a good rest, whether that's down dog or child's pose sitting, something else. Letting go. Let's come on to our forearms for a plank pose. So elbows right under shoulders, step the feet back, and try and bring the hips in line with the shoulders and the heels so they're not lifted, they're not dipping, everything's in one straight line. You could even rock front to back to check. Strong core. One more breath here. Let's shift over onto one elbow. So side plank on the forearms. Top arm can be up or at the hip. Can your face be relaxed while you're doing this? One more breath here. Release and switch. Over to the other side, top arm can be up or at your hip, pulling up away from what's on the floor and lengthening out. Strong core, long lines. Last breath. Release. Make your way back to child's pose. <sighs> With arms stretching out in front of you, bend your elbows and bring your palms together and you can inch your elbows in towards one another and further forward as you release your chest towards the floor. So just a little upper arm variation to stretch the shoulders, chest and upper arms. If you wanna make this even more intense or go a little deeper, you can push into your fingertips and take your wrists apart so the forearms are closer to parallel. And then release the arms all the way down. Let's bring hands to the floor. Push into the floor, roll up, and come to a tall kneeling position for camel. If you want to pad your knees, you could roll up the front of your mat or grab a blanket. Try and bring the pelvis to neutral. So tailbone is dropping, lower back nice and long. You can bring hands to the top of the buttocks. Roll your shoulders back and your elbows back. Lift the chest, try not to collapse into the hands. Keep making space in the upper back. You're welcome to stay here or reach back for the heels. If the heels are a little bit too far, you could try tucking your toes, giving you another couple of inches. Ah. 
head can be forward the whole time or look up or drop it back, finding what works for you, chest lifting higher. And then release, come up and sink back to child's pose. Releasing, letting go of all of that, keeping breath deep. Let's come up to table and get set up for thread the needle. So we're going to lift the left arm up, curl from fingertips down, and then thread it through, coming all the way onto your shoulder inside of your head. And here you can push the right hand into the floor or into the bottom forearm or take the right arm up or back. Let's release, unwind, come back to neutral, and take a few rolls through the spine, arching and curving on your own time. <sighs> Coming back to neutral, right arm lifts up. Curl from fingertips down, thread it through, come onto your shoulder inside of your head, and then experiment. Finding your edge here, finding what's interesting here. And then release, unwind. Take a few rolls through your spine. Let's come back through down dog. And then all the way to sitting. Extend your legs forward. Take the flesh of the sit bones back. You can reach for your feet or something like a strap around the feet or have hands on the floor using your arms to support you as you lengthen. And fold whatever amount helps you find your edge right where it is. Last breath here. And release, come up and then lie back. Let's bring the knees in. Take a little circle or rock with your knees, massaging the lower back and sacrum into the floor. Drop your feet and then cross your right ankle above your left knee. Reach your hands through, grab the left leg and hug it in, stretching the right outer hip. Let's see if you can drop your shoulders. Drop your chin so the back of your neck is long and spread the back side of the body, releasing the back side of the body towards the floor. Release, drop the left foot to the floor, straighten the right leg up, and then flex and point your right foot a few times. Circle your ankle a couple times both directions, and then let's switch. Drop your right foot to the floor, cross your left ankle above the right knee, reach through, grab the right leg, and hug it in. How close can you hug your knee in? How much can you let go? Hmm. Last breath here. Release, drop your right foot to the floor, straighten the left leg up, flex and point. Circle your ankle, 
And then drop this straight left leg along the floor. Bring your right knee to your chest and then take it across for a spinal twist. Roll back onto your back, switch sides, left knee in and across. And then roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in one more time. And just check in with your body. Is there anything you need to do to feel complete in your practice? Any last pose or adjustments you want to make? You can take your time winding things down and then getting as comfortable as you can for your final resting pose, Shavasana. Eventually settling into stillness, symmetrical, relaxed position. Letting go of the control of your breath. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, gently waking your body up again. And let this movement increase gradually through your wrists and ankles, eventually stretching out long through your arms and legs. When you're ready, bring your knees in. Roll to one side. Use your hands to help you up to sitting. We'll bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you have a good rest of your day.